and my navel was all the way in the back. I could put my finger this far into my navel. My navel does not want to see light anymore. And the most embarrassing thing, and more than triglycerides or cholesterol, the thing that started me on a diet was the day I came out of the shower, most, most embarrassing time of my life. I got out of the shower, grabbed a towel, dry myself off, that's fine, pick up the toothbrush, knocked it on the floor, bent over to pick it up, and water about a half a cup of water came out of my navel and it was loud when it hit the floor too and I said no 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 this is it this is it I gotta get in shape go on a diet 49, hairlines receding. Yeah, lost about, about a quarter of an inch up here. Just keeps going back. I keep looking at pictures of myself some time ago, holding it up, looking, yeah, there it is, going back. Little dips and stuff are showing up that I never saw before when I was combing it. Hairline receding. Not growing hair up here anymore. Yet, I'm still growing hair. Don't understand that. Why is it that I can't grow hair up here? I'm growing hair in places where I don't need hair. <laughs> I was shaving, looking in the mirror, and on this part of my ear, I swear to you, on this part of my ear, there was a hair about two inches long, sticking straight out, just as proud. And I looked at it, I said, are you lost? Well, I mean, what is the reason for this, you know? I've not bumped into any walls or anything. There's no need for tentacles, you know what I mean? Hair in my nose, forget it. This stuff grows. I mean, if I don't cut this every three hours, I can get a foot. I mean, I could get stuff hanging down here, but I can't get anything up here. I cut the hairs around three o'clock, went on, did the business, showered, shaved, went to dinner, came back, and I take off my clothes, I go in the bathroom, and there's a gray one hanging straight out. I said, how long have you been there? He said, oh, all through dinner. <laughs> my eyes. My eyes. My eyes. I'm not going blind. Just that I can't see like I used to. Anybody here have trifocals? Anybody with trifocals? Trifocals. I guess it's new or something. Put in some trifocals. My, my eye doctor, you need trifocals. I said, what for? He said, well, you can, we'll fix these so you can see way far away. He said, then in the middle, you'll pick up things about 50 feet away. He said, then down here, you can read your medicine. I'm sitting in the chair, he gives me the exam, he says, okay, that's fine, now read, the, read for 50 feet away, and I'm going, X, T, Y, O, H, P, 4, okay, now read, John said, take it, okay, grind them up, I come back two days later, put the glasses on, 
Now read. We do the whole thing. Fine. Okay. Try vocals. I can see any distance you want. You name it, I'll see it. You know. I get up to leave. And the door was way down there. I said, man, I don't remember the door being all the way down there. So I started walking, you know, just getting ready for a long walk, that's all. And, and, and then I passed it. So I looked back around and the knob was right here. I said, oh, there you are. I open the door and I go out to get the elevator. Elevators are way. I said, man, when did they change this building? So I put my finger out to press the button and I'm right on it. Now the elevator door opens, and there's about four people in the thing, but they're way back. I looked at them, I said, why are you all way back there? But the, the, the thing to step on is up here. So I said, golly, man, they ought to fix this thing. You have to get up this high. And when I did that, it's, this is in New York City, I did that, and the people went, oh, don't kill us, please. I said, oh, shut up. I'm trying to get in this elevator. Some, somebody help me, please. 